Hey everyone, I hope you are doing great today. In this video, we are going to be talking about multi user access to Hive OS farms. Now, I'm going to talk to you about what that is and how you can implement it into your organization. Now, you'll see here that I have my existing farm with nine rigs online, but you can see I have a second farm over here that I use for testing. Now, in your situation, you may only have one or you may have multiple. In this case, I'm going to select my active farm. And once I'm in here, I am going to take a look at the tabs across the top. And you're probably familiar with a lot of these and have been in and out of them. But you'll want to note the access tab, which I am going to click on. And here is where we are going to give access and manage access for all of the users in our organization. Now we can grant the access here, but we can also create roles-based administration for different departments. So perhaps I have a help desk group that's just going to monitor the rigs or do some basic troubleshooting. Perhaps I have a network group that's going to be managing the VPNs along with the existing network infrastructure. Or maybe I've got various owners or founders who want to keep an eye on the farm or manage wallets. It just depends on how your organization is set up. There are roles for all of those people here in Hive OS. So I'm going to click on the Trust User button. And right here, for my example, I am going to give John access because John has been looking to help me out with the farm. So I'm just going to type in his email address and then his access level. Now what I'm really looking for help on from John is just basic management of the farm, keeping an eye on things, perhaps doing some reboots when I'm not available, and just making sure that everything is running smoothly. And if there's any bigger issues than that, I'll take ownership of those. So I'm going to give John tech access. Now it's worth noting at this point, any role that I select for John will incorporate the roles previous to it. So you almost have a hierarchy here where you can escalate the roles based administration all the way from just monitoring to full access of the network. And depending on the size of your organization, this is probably a good time to have a discussion with your group and figure out which group is going to be granted what access. You may have just maybe a two or three person operation all the way up to very large farms with quite a few people. So this is going to be something that you're going to want to set some standards on. Now in my case, I'm going to assign John as a tech. So I will select tech and I'm going to enter my two factor authentication, which I highly recommend everyone enable. Uh, in this day and age of security, you can never have enough and it's something that you can really simply implement. And there you go, John has been added to the list. And you can see right here, he's got two-factor authentication and this user is currently set to active. Now, if I wanted to escalate his role or lower the access that I've granted him, I can click on the pencil here and come in here and change the access level granted to John. But I'm gonna leave it where it is for now. And you can add as many users to your farm as you like, depending on how your organization is set up and what your particular needs are. Now, let's take a look at the access that John now has. All right, so you can see on this screen, I am logged in as myself, managing my farm with full admin rights. And on this browser, I am logged in as John. And I have access to John's farm but now I have the rights that have been granted to me for the organization's farm. So I'm gonna click on this. Now you can see I have access to the roles that have been granted to me for this particular farm. And if I select a particular worker, I can come in here, view this worker, and notice that I have limited tabs across the top because my role is limited. I have overview, overclocking stats, and activity. Versus over here on my admin panel with full access, I have all of the tabs you would have for full farm access. Now one other thing I want to show you is let's say I am getting roles set up but maybe these people haven't come on board yet or someone is taking an extended vacation for whatever the reason may be I can deactivate an account and I'm just going to enter my verification code and confirm and you'll notice we went from green to gray. Now let's see what happens with John over here. So we're going to come back into the main Hive OS console and notice 
that the organizations farm has disappeared. And the same thing will happen if I want to re-enable that. I just enter my six digit code again. And now that John is back from his month long vacation, let's see if he now has access again to everything that we've granted him. And there we go. John's got full access to the organization's farm once again. So it's as simple as that. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let us know and we'll see you in the next video.